Hello and welcome to this year's 2017 Big 50 List Countdown. I'm Mike Hockett, Editor of Industrial Distribution, and I'll be taking you through our annual list of the largest distributors of industrial products. Here's a quick overview of the methodology for our Big 50 list. All companies are ranked according to total 2016 worldwide sales, with all figures in US dollars, and all companies must have a considerable presence in the US. We obtain information for publicly traded companies based on their annual reports, earnings statements, and press releases. For privately held companies, we rely on their self-reported data, follow-up interviews, press releases, and their website information. We elect to refrain from listing any companies we are unable to contain confirmed sales numbers for and or haven't published company information in more than three years, at which point it's quite difficult for us to make an accurate estimation of where to place them on our list. Therefore, we do acknowledge that there are a small number of companies that likely would have earned a place on this year's list. As always, our Big 50 list will be featured in our September-October print edition that gets mailed to subscribers on August 31st and then posted on our website one week later. Like last year, our countdown is split into three parts. Part 1 covered numbers 50 through 31. Here in Part 2, we'll cover numbers 30 through 11, and then Part 3 will count down the top 10. Before we begin, here's a quick look back at those first 20 companies. So without further ado, let's resume our countdown. At number 30, FCX Performance made three acquisitions in 2016, PCI, RL Stone, and SW Controls and has followed that up in 2017 by adding Monroe, Michigan's Renew Valve and Machine Company, and most recently, Encova Inc. in Cary, North Carolina. Those moves boosted FCX's footprint to 45 locations and more than 800 employees. Gas and Supply wasn't included in our list last year, but it returns in 2017 at number 29, five spots higher than in 2015, when the welding supplies distributor had $359 million in sales, which was also the last time the company reported information. Since that time, its number of locations has decreased by 5 to 49. Blackhawk Industrial repeats its position from last year at number 28. It acquired six distributors in 2015, then it had a relatively quiet 2016. So far this year, Blackhawk has named Carl Scott as its new CFO and John Mark as its new COO. The company says that it has done a major realignment of its hub and spoke distribution network expanded manufacturing capabilities in Chicago, and expanded its fasteners and packaging product categories. Ewe Group climbs two spots higher on our list from last year to number 27. It was number 35 back in 2011. Specializing in total tool management, the company now has a presence in 12 countries. CEO and co-founder Manoj Saktiva says, quote, customers are focusing more and more in Ewe Group's methodology of total cost savings and cutting edge technologies, end quote. At 26, Turtle & Hughes hasn't disclosed its sales information since 2014 when it had $556 million in revenue. The company recently consolidated two branches into a new larger branch in Huntington Beach to serve the Southern California market and just purchased a new 73,000 square foot facility east of Houston. At number 25 and halfway through our countdown, Bearings Distributors Inc. saw sales fall 3.6% in 2016 as mining and the oil and gas markets were weak, offset by continued strong results in the automotive, food processing, and package handling industries. The company continues to roll out new products and services, including integrated supply chain services, Smart Supply, and full service integration, as well as cloud-based cost savings program, BDI Productivity Pipeline. United Distribution Group comes in at number 24, UDG is comprised of subsidiaries United Central Industrial Supply, GHX Industrial, National Mine Service of Canada, Gooding Rubber Company, and McCarty Equipment Company. The group downsized since last year's list, with its locations down by 18 and headcount down by approximately 100. 2016 sales improved 4.7% at Bossard, which moves up three spots from last year's list to number 23. The Switzerland-based company completed the acquisition of Canton, Massachusetts-based Arnold Industries last November, which helped boost Bussard's U.S. sales 9.3% in local currency in 2016. Bussard did 27% of its total business in the U.S., a figure surely to climb in 2017. At number 22, 
EIS saw sales fall by 6% in 2016, but its 2017 figure will be helped by its April acquisition of Empire Wire & Supply, a $55 million distributor specializing in automation solutions and robotics industrial supply. Larry Griffin took over as the company's CEO after Bob Thomas retired in January. Last year was the first time Global Industrial was recognized on our list, and they enhanced their status by moving up three spots to number 21 as 2016 sales improved by 2.4%. Global comprises 98% of Systemax's industrial products group, which surpassed $200 million in quarterly sales for the first time ever in Q2 2017. Global acquired Milwaukee-based Plant Equipment Group in January of 2015. 2016 was a year of transition for Eric's, number 20 on our list. Growth in its food and beverage, pharmaceutical, and machine construction sectors offset a decline in the oil and gas-related industries, resulting in sales that were relatively flat compared to 2015. The company says a newly appointed management team has positioned Eric's for growth with a focus on reducing total cost of operations for its MRO customers, improving product performance for OEM customers, and providing competitive packages for its engineering, procurement, and construction customers. DXP Enterprises, at number 19, was hit hard by the recent oil and gas downturn, with 2016 sales down nearly 23% to under the $1 billion mark. The company sold off its Vertex Holdings subsidiary, an industrial fasteners master distributor, to Houston Wire and Cable last October for $32 million. Year-over-year -year sales declines continued through the first half of 2017, though sales improved sequentially. At number 18, FW Web sales increased 4.2% in 2016 as the company hit the $1 billion mark in revenue and added five more locations since last year's Big 50. This past June, FW Web acquired Vernon, New Jersey-based Master Wholesale Supply, marking the company's fifth location in the state. It is also nearing completion of its massive distribution center in Londonderry, New Hampshire, that will span nearly 1 million square feet. Thanks to large sales declines of other Big 50 companies, Command Industrial Technologies moves up three spots from last year to number 17, despite a 6% decline in sales. 2017 sales have remained modestly down year over year, but up sequentially. In KIT's Q2 earnings report, Command President and CEO Neil Keating said, quote, as we have highlighted in recent quarters, we have taken steps to significantly strengthen distribution's ability to drive improved performance." End quote. Starting this year, we considered only Ferguson's, formerly Wolseley, industrial division for our list instead of Ferguson as a whole. Though it's the smallest part of Ferguson, Wolseley Industrial still churned out $1.4 billion in 2016 sales, putting it at number 16 on our list. The company says that as of August 2016, the division's geographic build-out was complete with dedicated leadership covering 44 states. At number 15, Edge & Murray is the largest commercial brand of Edge & Group, which hasn't disclosed its sales figures since having $2.2 billion in sales in 2014. Edge & Murray distributes specialized steel products primarily for the oil and gas markets. Home Depot hasn't disclosed the sales figures for number 14 Interline brands since it acquired the company for $1.6 billion in 2015, with Interline's website stating that it is, quote, approaching $2 billion in sales. And while Interline comprises only about 2% of Home Depot's total sales, Home Depot has consistently stated that it wants to further grow its business for professional customers, a key reason why Interline was acquired. And number 13, Now Inc., which does business as distribution now, saw 2016 sales fall a whopping 30%. The vastly improved North American rig counts and oil price stability are a welcome sight, and in Q1 of 2017, D-Now posted its first quarter of year-over-year -year sales growth following 11 straight quarters of decline dating back to the company's completed spin-off from National Oil Well Varco in 2014. Applied Industrial Technologies, at number 12, launched a new website and made two acquisitions in 2016, Hub Industrial Supply and Seals Unlimited. And this past March, it added Toledo, Ohio-based Sentinel Fluid Controls. Sales were down more than 8% in 2016, but have rebounded since. Completing its 2017 fiscal year already at the end of this past June, Applied's Q4 organic sales jumped 7.9% year-over-year. MSC Industrial Supply has gradually been moving up our Big 50 in recent years, from number 16 in 2011 and 2012, to number 13 last year, to number 11 in 2017. 
MSC turned 75 years old in 2016 and celebrated with a rebranding that included a logo and a new built to make you better tagline. Sales dipped 1.6% last year, but have been improving in 2017 as the company's e-commerce sales continue to comprise a bigger portion of its total business, exceeding 60% in Q3. Most recently, MSC acquired Davenport, Iowa-based Deco Tool Supply. That does it for part two of our countdown. Here's a quick look back at companies 30 through 11. Thanks for watching.